having a baby when you're oh, yeah. got MS like that. I don't, yeah. I don't know. The doctor could categorize her as very high risk. Okay. A lot of churches do things like um, our church that we yeah. go to. They do stuff for single exactly. mothers, and they have a whole program for mothers who are for women who are scared and don't know what to do. And their whole thing is to help support them. Yep. I think if you have some family support, some yep. community and church yep. support, and some money coming from the father, yep. and you start to adjust your income and your yep. li living situation and your car situation, by the time you make all those adjustments, this is all going to be okay. The child is paramount, the child's well-being. Once the child's well-being is taken care of, then I absolutely also I worry about, about her, parents. too. I'm concerned about her, too. Yeah. Exactly. Because you can't raise a, a healthy child if you're not a healthy parent. Don't let the difficulty of that particular situation get you down. It's all in your mind. The decision comes first and then the reality reflects the decision. If you think that you're going to be successful, you will be. If you think that you're a failure and you're going to be a failure, you will be. I'm pregnant and the father is my ex. I mean, not me. <laughs> There we go. And what do you mean? Not you yeah, pregnant or the ex? I mean, not me. <laughs> not me, Dana. <laughs> I mean, the girl that's getting ready to call into the Dave Ramsey show. <laughs> oh, God, are we getting This is going to be a good one. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I am calling. I'm going to try to keep this as clear as I can. Um, I'm in a bit of a complicated situation. Um, oh, but I just found out that um, about three weeks ago um, that I am expecting a child. Yay! This would be my first. <laughs> Thank you. Please, please have the baby. Please yeah. don't abort this baby. But they were divorced three years ago, is what she's going to say. I mean, well, they obviously seems like they still like each other. Got together. <laughs> Something's working. Thank you. Um, however, it is... Um, I, the person that, you know, that would be the father would be my ex-husband. Um, and, um, <laughs> their faces, <laughs> they, <laughs> they, they... <laughs> like, uh, okay. <laughs> I'm not sure at this moment if he will be around. Um, it's, you know, he's being very, um, uh, Apparently, he comes around sometimes. <laughs> um, unclear about that. Um, well, apparently, he was around so recently. To... <laughs> yes. I have not watched this before. <laughs> he will be around. Um, it's, you know, he's being very um, unclear about that. Um, well, apparently, he was around so recently. To... Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's crazy. Um, but, I mean, he says that he, he, I mean, I'm not getting that he's opposed to it. He says he's okay with it. At the same time, he's not really talking to me. Um, How old are you two? I'm just confused. Um, I am 34. He is 42. Uh -huh. Does he have a job? Um, does he have a job? Uh -huh. Yes. Do you yeah. have other Hold on. Ashley in Dallas, Texas? I sure hope we don't have a conflict of interest with her. <laughs> Has she think called so. in? It doesn't. She, her <laughs> voice doesn't sound familiar. No. <laughs> Children from the marriage. By the way, we're in Dallas. Yes. No. No. Okay. No. How long no have you been children? divorced? Kids. They don't um, have any other children together. No, about she just said. three and a half years. Okay. Yeah. And how much do you um, how much do you make a year, honey? Me, um, well, I have a disability, so I'm oh. doing like maybe seventeen thousand. I mean, it doesn't disable her from doing every activity <laughs> before taxes a year. Cause I can't, Look, this is a comedy show, too. Can't really work too much. What is the nature um, of your disability? So I have multiple sclerosis, ah, so okay. I have some mobility issues hmm. and um, vision a little bit. I'm just kind of a myriad of things. Oh, poor girl. Um, you got family so in the you got family in the area. I hope she has family. Um, I have um my adopted mom. She's kind of close ish. That's good. She's about an hour away from me. Um, so I, that's all I really have. Um, in that regard, but I'm just kind of lost because I don't know how to prepare for this financially. 
I'm, I understand I'm going to probably need to change some things living situation wise. I mean, this is the type of thing why it's important to be financially prudent and why yeah. you have to have your, your finances straight and, and oh, yeah. have, I mean, the baby steps get you there. Emergency fund. Yeah. Making sure you're not in debt. Um, Wonder what dad does. Yeah. What he well, makes. she'll get child support. Yeah. Because I live in a very small apartment that's only 324 square feet. I have a very small car. It's like a small, like a smart car. And I just got told it probably will need a new engine. So I'm going to have to replace that. And I just don't know how I'm going to do all of this financial wise, especially with the rent being like it is and the car prices being the way that they are. Why, why is she so bad off if she's single? Well, How, what happened in the divorce? I mean, the divorce can devastate you. And but yeah. three and a half years, usually a divorce, well, your range got, is somewhere between instantaneously I, better off it to It sounds like two to years, me she's living most. completely on disability. Oh, Because she's got yeah. MS, so... Yeah, yeah. She, well, depending needs, on depending how far along uh, MS is, I mean that yeah, that will good. cripple you. This is starting to become a very difficult problem. To Which also the concern is having a baby when you're oh, yeah. got MS like that. I don't yeah. I don't know. The doctor could categorize her as very high risk. She's she probably qualifies for food stamps too. Yeah, I would think so. Um, I just don't know how I'm going to do this and prepare for this child financially, especially. If She's probably getting free medical with Medicare. I may have to do it alone. Okay. So, and I don't really know exactly yet, but um, I'm okay, trying to plan. Um, there's so much going on here. I'm so sorry. That's a scary, yeah. scary situation you've Very scary. Yourself. Mm-hmm. Very difficult. Okay, so yeah. what, what I would tell my best friend, if they called and told me the exact thing you told me, is I would tell them that you need to get people in your corner as much as possible. That's exactly. why I was asking about friend, uh, our friends family. and family. I, I would um, definitely start working on the. It would something like this. She may strongly consider finding a, another single mom to be roommates with. Yeah. And because then they can combine their efforts, and yeah. if not one other single mom, maybe even two, um, or. She could probably get a bigger, a bigger apartment. The two, yeah, and might not be, might be cheaper in the end. Or find someone or house to rent. So, there are there are other divorced women uh, or single mothers that do own houses and would love to have somebody. If she if she's capable of with the MS, if she's capable of taking care of kids and taking care of multiple kids, yeah, then the fact that she could be live in childcare like a nanny like a nanny mm-hmm. for for both of them and if the one mom can go out and work um and if she's providing daycare she gets a free place to live and she could probably charge some money for it as well mm-hmm. just find a deal and work out a deal cuz you've got to find he, David's first instinct is exactly right you've right. got to find a s- support to get around you oh yeah the career side of your equation, find something that you're able to do that makes a lot more money that yep. is within the tolerance of your MS. And working from home. Mm-hmm. I mean, if, for example, just even with our business, if she was able to be a legal assistant or a paralegal or something like that, she could work as necessary in drafting documents If because we could make assignments to her that say, hey, sometime in the next three days, get this done, and here's your one assignment. And then as she does that assignment, she could get paid for that assignment. It's right. much, much more like contract work. Um, there's a lot of things that are like that, and I yeah. like Dave's instinct on that. He's exactly right. Mm-hmm. Uh, MS, is, as I understand it, is aggravated by stress, so you can't be in a high-stress scenario, yep. but you're getting ready to be in a right. stress you're getting ready to be in a stressful financial situation if you yep. don't create some more income. Right. So you're yep. going to have to create some more income. I would, yep. uh, uh, ha, ha, do you do you belong to or have you visited or are you aware of a local church in your yeah, area she needs to get some kind respect? Of help around here with that. Um, well, I've been going to a church online. Um, Which one? It's not really in my area. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, it's so, a local she should reach out to Preston Crest Church of Christ if if she is a Christian. Go to Preston Crest Church of Christ. It's at Beltline and Preston. Mm-hmm. Not Beltline. Preston and well, LBJ. Well, a lot of churches do things. Like um, our church that we yeah. go to, they do stuff for single exactly. mothers. 
Exactly. And they have a whole program for mothers who are for women who are scared and don't know what to do. And their whole thing is to help support them. I mean, we, so the, the, the Williams kids, we were helping supporting them. The church was until Sharon passed away and then they came to live with us. (laughs) (laughs) There's a lot of support out there. Oklahoma. Um, but I know of one, um, that's in the area that I can, you know, get connected with. I want Um, you to get connected. So you've got emotional support. Yep. And when they know what you're going through, maybe even some financial support temporarily while you get your income up. And <laughs> well, and physical support too. Just oh, yeah. help and assistance <clears throat> with things. And wh- whether it's financial or food or child care. There's a lot of moral resources. Moral support. There's a lot of resources, actually. Yeah. You make a transition to different living and different <laughs> vehicle, but don't do any of it with debt because that's going to bring you down. Do further. not do any of it with debt for sure. Not in living expenses or stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Further, we got to get your income up and make these moves. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But you, got, you're going to have to have some people around you. Yep. That are walking with you and are mm-hmm. supporting you, um, emotionally, financially, mm-hmm. relationally, everything, because you're 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 kind of by yourself out here on Some people that are coached. Right. Coach her in regards to her career and different decisions and things, and you need to be careful who you're listening to too, because. Again, it's just like having the right friends and the wrong friends. You need to be very discriminating about the advice mm-hmm. that you take, and you need right. to take the good advice and not take the bad advice. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly what I feel right now. I'm like, I feel like I was, you know, I'm almost basically out of debt. Mm-hmm. I only have like $150 left on a medical loan. That's amazing. She's no debt and only $150 on a medical thing. That's excellent. Well, yeah. My student loan was discharged, so that's another thing yeah. that is kind of hindering me on the income side. But that's, Okay, so student loan, I wonder how much it is, but she should put that on deferment yes. for as long as she can. She needs to stock up cash. She needs to be stocking up money. I, I want her to get that student loan paid off, and it's... I think that the but United States is under a situation. deferment. Are they charging interest right now on student loans? I don't know. Are they def- have they deferred it or? I think they're still interest. I think they're for a while they weren't, but yeah. I think they put I think it. Maybe back that in has place. kicked back in. Yeah. But she's got to get rid of that. But again, she's got to get. But that I think she has a good up. enough reason. Like I have this medical condition. Yeah. I recently found out I'm pregnant. I'm going to be a single mom. Yeah. I would think I'm they sure would totally get... work with her. Yeah. And I mean, what are they going to do? Take her income tax return that. I, I don't know what they would even do to collect or, or whether or not it'll just sit out there and get to become this huge mammoth over time. But yeah, um, I don't know. Maybe it, it, it would just depend. It would be on my radar for her to try and get dealt with. Mm-hmm. But income wise, some kind of thing that she could do would be important. Right. Or if not, can she take care of kids with MS? It's good. Um, well, it can still be discharged. Yeah. You've been permanently, you've been declared permanently disabled. The student loan is gone. It doesn't come back. Oh, I did not know that. So student loans can be discharged if you're permanently disabled. Oh, I didn't know that either. Got a pipe. Where's Tanya Harding? <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I don't have a student loan. I'm talking about. So, yeah. If you go okay. get a job, it doesn't come back. And so you've, you've got the rest of your life to live and create an income, and 17000 isn't a good life. So we need to work on this yeah. income side yeah. of the equation, long term, for you and for the baby. Yep. Um, lastly, while right. you're at that church, ask um, the folks there if there is an attorney there that could give you some advice. I'm not an expert on the law in Texas, but in most states, um, your, your uh, know a lot of ex-husband they, is going to be responsible for child support. Yes. Yeah. She needs to get child support. Yeah. He needs to pay for that. Ashley, 214-789-4735 is our number. 20%. Whether he wants to be involved or not. 20% of his net available resources. Legally. Yes, unless he has other children. In most states, a percentage of his income will go to raise the child that he caused to come into the world. Yeah. Yeah. He at least I don't owes really her care that. whether he likes yep. it or not. And if he's earning any amount of money, she'll actually be able to collect it. Child support in Texas is the most collectible debt that mm-hmm. there is. A lot of debts are completely uncollectible. 
but child support is. I'm not really taking a poll here. In fact, a debt for child support can put you in jail. Mm -hmm. Of his feelings. I'm worried about one thing, and that's the child. Yep. That's exactly what I'm worried about. No, thank you. I appreciate that, because I I was like, I don't know what my... The child is paramount, the child's well-being. Once the child's well-being is taken care of, then I absolutely... I'm also I worry about, about her parents. too. I'm concerned about her too. Yeah. Exactly. Cause you can't raise a, a healthy child if you're not a healthy parent. Right. And I'm not talking about MS. I'm talking about mental well being. Right. My, my rights are since, you know, this is new, you know, and I'm not sure what your rights are yet. either, but I suspect you're due child. I'm certain what her rights are. Support. That's my oh, suspicion. Yeah. yeah. And so I would, you know, and I think you're probably going to have to get uh, someone to help you at least coach you a little bit on the legal side so you can have this discussion with him and he can do this voluntarily or we'll have a judge instruct him to do it, whichever he prefers. Yeah. Yeah. So technically you, she can actually go to the attorney general of Texas and the attorney general will do this for her for free. Now that said, that particular office takes a whole lot longer and it's a whole lot riskier to do that. And it's not, as good of a process as if she hires a private attorney like the Palmer Law Group, for example. Um, We are a lot faster than we typically see with the Attorney General, and there are a lot of different, better things. And we've seen people, like for example, somebody that's at maximum child support that tries to go to the Attorney General. Well, if the Attorney General takes six or nine months, which we've seen before, in order to even file the petition, well, you can't get the child support for until the petition is filed and a lot of things. So we've had people miss out on fifteen, twenty, thirty thousand dollars worth of child support, and it might have only been five or ten thousand dollars for them to hire us to do it for them. So we always, if you can afford it, you should get the best attorney that you can afford. Mm-hmm and move forward with this and if not for child support there is a free resource out there like any government program it's kind of like the difference between going to the dmv uh and it's kind of it is what it is but there is that possibility Mm -hmm. out there for child support now that said if he hires a private attorney and who who knows what he might be trying to take the child away from her it can be a a big problem right Uh, in in dallas the actual people working at the attorney general's office in dallas are decent Mm -hmm. um and they are all trying to do the best for what it is so but um anytime if if you are going to court hire an attorney Mm -hmm. when what we have seen over and over and over again is if she does go to that church we've had the church will put up five to seven thousand dollars just for her to start the process to be able to get that and uh that's one of the things that i would recommend it for somebody in ashley's situation yeah Mm -hmm. yeah i hope that we can work that out but no thank you yeah i I, I think you but so here's the here's what i think i'm saying I think if you have some family support, some yep. community and church yep. support, and some money coming from the father, yep. and you start to adjust your income and your yep. living situation and your car situation, by the time you make all those adjustments, this is all going to be okay. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. And we have seen it over and over and over again that people in this situation, it, they are okay. And they mm-hmm. have great kids and they grow up and they're great parents and it can work out great. Don't let the difficulty of that particular situation get you down. It's all in your mind. The decision comes first, and then reality reflects the decision. If you think that you're going to be successful, you will be. If you think that you're a failure and you're going to be a failure, you will be. You, Whatever it is, you're going to be right. So choose to be healthy. Mm -hmm. Choose to be good. That's what you want to do. This is The Lawyer Dana Show.